Hello, we are going to demonstrate how to program our devices using USB bootloader cable. So what it means that uh, if you want to make any changes in the program, you can take our open source firmware code, make any changes over there and using Atmel CVR Studio, uh, you can generate the executable which uh, can be loaded into the devices. Now for loading that executable into these devices, you can simply use uh, USB bootloader cable and you can carry out whole programming process without using JTAG cable and JTAG uh, programmer. So here is, uh, here is our USB bootloader cable. These are the two ends. Uh, this is the normal one which goes into your uh, PC or, or laptop. This is the micro connector which comes along with a reset button. And this connector mates with the USB data port of the uh, of the devices. Uh, for example, for this particular product, uh, this this uh, USB connector is meant for USB data communication. And uh, here in this case, uh, this uh, connector is meant for USB data communication. For this particular sensor, the only visible USB connector is is the one which can be used for uh, used for uh, uh, programming using bootloader cable for bootloader programming a software is required which can be downloaded from this website you can take a note of the url this is atmel's website and the software name is flip So take a note of the version which you have to download. Just click on it, it will download and uh, installation procedure is very simple. We take foot sensors to demonstrate how to program a device using uh, our USB bootloader cable. So you take bootloader cable, connect one end of the cable with the laptop or PC and the other end to the device and there is a button on, uh, on, on this cable. So you press the button and while the button is pressed, power up the device by sliding the switch available there. I want to reiterate that while the button is pressed, you have to power it up. So now it is ready to be programmed. Open the device manager and you will find your device uh, appearing there in other devices section as DFU, AT32, UC3C. Click, uh, select this one and click on update to install USB bootloader driver. This driver is available in the flip software directory which you, uh, which you downloaded earlier. Here is the driver and now the installation is going on. Installation is done successfully and the device appears as Atmel USB devices. Now you have to program the device with your executable. I am assuming that you have already generated the executable using Atmel AVR Studio. So now you have to download OpenShoe bootloader file from our website which is available under the support section. 
you have to edit this file for the right path of the executable which uh, has to be uh, loaded into the device this is the path which you must change it should be the right path of your executable double click on this file to execute and this is the time when your device is getting programmed with your executable it is done successfully and now you will notice that it has appeared as cdc virtual com which means you have to install atmel usb driver as well so i just want to uh, uh, reiterate here that installation of atmel driver and the earlier bootloader driver this is just one time activity and next time you don't need to do it the driver file is uh, available for download from our website avrcdc this is available under support section done and your device now appears as avr communication device class and it is available at COM3 port.